cool sculpting is a safe, non-invasive procedure that helps rid the body of unwanted fat that's resistant to diet and exercise. It's been approved, FDA cleared since 2009. First area was the flanks, or commonly known as the love handles. Next, the abdomen, inner outer thighs followed, and then just recently, the double chin. It's totally uh, a natural process for the body, which I find um, pretty amazing. The body does all the work. All I do is hook the unit up and the body does the rest. Most people prefer cool sculpting because there is no downtime. There are no serious side effects. You can go right back to your lifestyle. You can go work out at the gym if you want to after you leave. So it's very safe and it's very appealing to people because of that. She comes in before each session. Uh, when she comes in, I mark her initially so that we know where to put the applicator. Fat has peaks and valleys, so we wanna make sure that we address the peak of fat in any area that's being treated. And then we put the gel pad on, which protects the skin from any kind of irritation caused by the cold. This protects the skin from any kind of burn. Initially, when you're hooked up to the applicator, you will feel um, a tugging sensation, maybe a little tingling, maybe a little stinging, but within five to eight minutes, the area is going to go numb and you're not going to feel anything any longer and then you can rest comfortably for the next hour. Some people feel a little bit uncomfortable, but there really isn't any kind of pain associated with it. It stays on for an hour, the cycle is an hour long, and that's how long it takes for the fat cells to crystallize. So after the procedure is completed, there is a two minute massage given. It's really crucial to the whole cool sculpting procedure because it allows the fat cells to begin to work their way out of your body two days after the procedure. Over the next three months, they begin to make their journey out of your system, through your lymphatic system, your liver, and finally your excretory system, and you urinate them out. A lot of times patients will ask me, will I need another treatment? So trying to manage their expectations, I tell them it really just depends on how much tissue is involved, uh, how satisfied you are with the first round because you do lose 25% of your fat cells with the first treatment, and what kind of result that you want. I usually bring them back at six weeks, and at that time we decide if we're going to have another treatment. My patients come and tell me that they are thrilled with their results, and they want to come back and they want to do more.